Hi, your buddy Stan here to give some random rants about the bullshit I have noticed this week. No real topic today. Just your friend ranting on stupid fucks of people out there. As always my opinions and observations. So keep the bitching to a minimum please. First off did anyone watch that stupid Democratic Party convention? All the pro-fem Nazi shit almost made me vomit. Abortion? The so-called war on women and women paying higher insurance rates than men. Hearing the talk about being female is considered a pre-existing condition. Could this shit be any dumber? First off, where is this war on women? Cause I only have seen a war waged on men for the last 40 plus years. They all jumped on Rush Limbaugh for calling a woman a slut but we failed to mention this whore wanted the taxpayers to pay for her birth control. Really? How much more of a burden do women need to be on the government before the economy breaks down? I have a suggestion. Keep your legs closed bitch. There is your free birth control and it costs the taxpayer nothing. Next, they are complaining about higher insurance rates. I had to shake my head here. Ladies, you have so much focus on women's health in the media. Breast cancer awareness this Susan G. Komen at. The only breast awareness I care about is two double D's popping out of a tight corset. Seriously women. Feminists wanted more attention on women's health and insurance companies saw an advantage to milk it and they did. Blame your feminist for that. Just like you don't seem to blame feminists for the fact you have no choice in the matter of working outside the home. Or the fact since every American now works our government gets twice the tax money and businesses now charge and arm and a leg for everything. Housing and cars cost way too much. Which is because there are most likely both male and female parties working. They saw the advantage and they milked the fuck out of it. But like I said before. You ladies wanted independence, but you must realize freedom ain't free. Another thing I've noticed online is the discussion of feminism having a satanic agenda. I agree with this 100%. Any ideology that advocates murdering children can be anything but of the devil. In Adam and Eve we learned the trouble a wayward woman can cause and how gullible women are. When Adam fell to the whims and temptation of Eve he created a problem for himself. This is much like the relationship between men and women today as many men are prepared to do anything foolish for the daughters of Eve even in this age. Buying into feminism proves that women today are no different from Eve. Still always ready to listen to that snake. The Bible also tells us the woman is to have no authority over the man. Many feminists will call this sexist and use it to back the cause of atheism. However the Bible proves right again as the giving of power to women has only created death and dysfunction everywhere. Not the female-led utopia feminists promised. Since gull mother homes give rise to criminal or weak men, neither have a place in our society. Take a good hard look at the black community and you will see how feminism will fail. In the past there were strong black fathers as heads of the households, but look what feminism along with Uncle Sam did. Almost every place that is rampant with some gull motherhood is a hellhole filled with dysfunction, immorality, violence, ignorance and vice. This is the very reason God Almighty did not want women running the show. He in his wisdom knew what would happen as leadership and logic are not female traits. Yet, in this women still blindly support feminism. Women will not admit they got misled and would rather blindly support it out the fear of proving men right even at the detriment of themselves. As a man going his own way I say if women want to walk Satan's path and champion feminist witchcraft she will face her punishment alone. We will not make the same mistake as Adam did in the Bible. Start reading Micah if you want to know the final fate of the wayward woman. Another thing I'm getting sick of is pussy beggars. You just can't say enough about these clowns. Okay. So you managed to get laid. Wow. Big accomplishment in the slot culture we live in today buddy. I notice how these guys will come into stores just to walk around and show everybody they got some pussy. They are always looking around to see what guys are noticing them. Just more foolishness from guys that validate themselves through women. Have you seen this pussy beggar trick? They will have their girl dress super slutty then send her around some guys. The pussy beggar will hide to see how many guys check her out. Then he'll roll up all over her to say this is my bitch. I'm like, really? 
All that bullshit just to validate your manhood through a piece of ass. This bitch behavior from men is getting worse every day. Pussy bigger, you don't have to grab your girl the first sight of any other male. You don't have to call your girlfriend every 10 seconds when another guy is in earshot. You don't have to show me pictures of your girl if I'm not asking to see them. You don't have to tell me in graphic detail what you do sexually with her when I'm not asking you for the play-by-play -play of your sex life. You don't have to post status updates on Facebook about being in a relationship like you are some expert. You don't look like a ladies man to me. You look like a man that does not get laid, yet another thing that is piecing me off is Bob's. No, not the guy that spams you with unfunny videos on YouTube or the breakfast on a bun from Whataburger. No. I am talking about bitter old bitches. These are the shallow husks of females that were the original ones to fall for the feminist lies. Now they are old, have no men, children or family and want to make every male they encounter miserable because of this. Seriously, the feminist is the one that lied to you so why are you mad at the men? We never promised you that you could have it all. You know damn well who that was. By what fucked up logic did you believe you could? Bash, muck, belittle, screw over, marginalize, ridicule and assault men and still think we would be waiting faithfully for you. Why after all that did you still feel you were entitled to a man? Well I guess asking a woman to use logic is about like expecting to piss out rainbows and shit out gold. Well people, thanks for listening to me rant. I just needed to get that shit off my chest. Been a long ass work week and I needed to vent some. I promise to upload another video soon giving my opinions on various topics and offering my advice to men going their own way. I just got Dark Souls today so I am gonna pop it in the good old Xbox and pop open some whiskey. Bye from your friend Stan.